Hello and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you how to set up C++ for Visual Studio. So here we have a very basic program and we can see that we have no option to run this program. So let me show you how to set that up. First thing you're going to need is just go ahead and open a new terminal. In this terminal we're going to check if we have um, C++ already installed within our operating system. So what we want to do is just type in GCC version. If this comes up with nothing, let's go ahead and try G++ version. If this comes up with nothing, then we know that the compiler for C++ is not installed in our system and we need to do something about it. So what we want to do is just go ahead and install the compilers. So first we want to uh, make sure our system is up to date. So we're going to do sudo, give it super user access, apt update, and it's going to ask you for your, the password for the user. Just enter that in, and now it's getting ready to update your system. Next up, we are going to install the tools that we need for the com compilers. Um, so we're going to start install the GCC compilers. So what we're going to do is just going to type in sudo apt install build essential just like that now it's going to ask you it's going to tell you what it's installing so it's installing g plus plus in gcc since that's what we're missing uh, it's also going to install other tools such as make which you use sometimes for your projects in c plus plus i'm going to press yes do i want to continue yes It's going to take a little bit of time. Once that runs, let's go ahead and make sure that we have our compiler set up. So GG++ version. Looks like we do. So this is the compiler for C++ and let's try GCC version. Awesome. So now that we have the compilers within our operating system, we can set them up uh, within our Visual Studio. But what we do need is to install one of the extensions for C++ so that Visual Studio knows that we are using um, the compiler. So here we're going to look up C++, see what comes up. Now there's a few options here. Try to find the one with this star since this is the extension pack. Uh, the extension pack just really means that it, it includes other plugins such as the C++ one over here and then CMake tools, and then some themes. I'd like to install this one, but this one would also work as well. So let's just press install. Make sure auto update is clicked on. Takes a little bit of time. What's, once it's installed, you can exit out of this, go back to our project, and you'll see that this comes up, this button. And now we can start pressing the uh, run file. And it's gonna ask you which compiler you want to use. Now remember, within our terminal, if we do G++ version, it tells you right here which version of the compiler it is. So we know it's G++, and then we see 13.2.0. So when it asks you, you want to make sure it's a 13 version right here. So G++ 13, okay? Once you click that, it'll start compiling the file. Here we see it's compiling the file, and then it created this executable called first. So now this is the new file that I got created, and we can see that it ran the file immediately. Uh, but if we press it again, it'll just run, it'll do the same thing, it'll compile it and run it again. We can try it for more complicated programs, such as this one where it asks you the name and your age. Uh, same thing, we just press run, and it'll ask you for your name. Jeffrey, age 32. And it just tells you what uh, age you are. But now let me show you how that works for a little bit more of a complicated program. So let me go here into my projects and open up this blackjack uh, client or command interface that I created here. So this is a little bit of more, more of a complicated program. And we can see that in this program, it's calling some header files, which are in this include folder. And these include folders are just different implementations of different classes. And here we implement those classes. 
So it's just a bunch of code that's organized neatly into this uh, file system. But what we need to compile this is we need to build the whole file and make sure that it includes the header files. And this is where the CMake comes in. Uh, when you have a bigger, a bigger project like this, to build the entire project, uh, the, the, our Visual Studio will look for this CMake file and then follow the rules stated in the CMake file. And you can see this build down here. You're gonna press build and it'll read this and create its own uh, target or compilation output within this build folder. And you can see that here. And this is where the uh, the target or the, the compiled application is stored. And when you press run right here, it'll run that target. So here when we have that target, it'll run that target. So let's try that. Now we can see that it's running the target or pretty much the whole application. So welcome to Blackjack. Um, let's just try running it again here. Yeah, welcome to Blackjack, and now it's asking for um, your input. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. And yeah, hit the like and subscribe or do whatever. Thanks.